What's going on guys? Before this video starts, I just want to say one quick thing. If you are seeing this video as it is uploaded, this is just a review of the mower. Me telling you what I like about it, all that stuff, showing you around the features of it. I am not going to be showing any mowing footage in this video. However, later this week, I will be uploading a real-time mowing footage video with the Starus, okay? So if you're subscribed, you will see it. If not, just please understand that later on, I will have a card in this video to show you that one. So other than that, let's get into it. It is 95 degrees out, and technically I'm wearing long sleeves rolled up because it's laundry day. So I'm sorry if I'm panting. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm making this a fast video. But let's get into it. I purchased my 36 stars this week, last week. I love this thing. This is coming from a guy, yes, it's my first standard, technically quote unquote my first uh, commercial mower. If you look at the 60 inch that I have, it is like top tier residential, but I still have that 48 residential is what it is. This thing's amazing. I did have to learn how to use a stander on it, and I want to actually get into something. I was talking to a buddy of mine when it comes to the drive control system up here with the Starus. That's apparently a little different than others. We'll get into that. So real quick, come right here. You lift this up. That's how you pretty much service everything. Easy to get to belts, spindles, all of that. You have your battery right here. Um, I do believe there was a fuse panel. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I'm going to show you everything. I'm going over basically what my dealer told me. This is a Kawasaki FS600V. I believe that is a 18.5 horsepower engine. Um, let's spin around a little bit. I'll show you right there if you can see is one of your spark plugs. You got another right there. That's your hydraulic uh, filter. Spin around to the side here before I do show you the back. You got your little uh, gas meter, I guess you can say. Gas tank, I believe is a five gallon gas tank. You lift this little sucker up right here and it locks. And then I do believe, I'm not doing it right now, but this whole piece pops off. You can fill your hydro reservoirs from right here. You got them right there. This is where you do your oil. Oil drain valve is down here. You have your fuel filter. Oh, and this is coming off, so never mind. <laughs> you have your fuel filter right there. Spinning around, you have your brake, deck control lever, and pretty much just going back to the front, you would have, you know, pretty self-explanatory air filters inside there. One thing I do want to add, guys, about this mower is I tried putting on an advanced chute and found out after I bought it. Small story with that. Didn't actually buy a new one. I had a buddy uh, town over who had one that he didn't really like. Bought it for 50 bucks. Sadly can't use it. 50 bucks, it is what it is. Um, but I need to find a chute cover for this. Uh, my dealer said, I believe, like 600. I don't even know if that's including installation for grass flap. I'm not sure. But let me know if you guys have a star or if you recommend a type of uh, shoe cover for this because I really do need one. I have certain yards that like I got to use the 36 but it's going to be blowing clippings if I don't have a shoe cover. So let's get into a few other things. Let me close this up. Let me put it back the way it's supposed to be. So let me show you pretty much everything up here. You have a little spot that I'm assuming you can put like a charger or something like that. Um, I do believe, I don't know if you can or not, there is a certain chute that my buddy was talking about um, that's like a little foot pad right here or a switch that maybe you can mount here. I'm not exactly sure which one that is. But here's your key ignition, PTO switch, choke and throttle. And then apparently some standers have their uh, safety in the pad right here, but no, the safety is in both of these throttles right here. Some of them have them in one. It is in both. So I'll let you know right now, they are both up all the way. If you slightly push this down, like right there, and you step off, it will stop. So that's one thing that annoys me, is that little bit, it's very fidgety. So other than that, I'll show you right now, this has 3.3 hours on it. Um, one thing that my buddy told me, 
compared to his Toro grandstand that he does not like about this is I think that he said he either has it again in one of the levers or it was the pad. But when you're pushing these down, they are fighting back with you. So that may be a reason why I am really struggling to get those straight lines. It has a nice freaking cut to it, but I am struggling to get some straight lines cutting with this. I don't know if that's my fault, if, if it's just everybody has that issue because of the fact that it's right here, or I just have to learn it better, I don't know. Um, but my lines are getting there, you know, again, First time on a standard, guys, so I am learning it. I've been recording for less than six minutes. I am sweating. Again, 95 degrees, guys. Um, is there anything else I can tell you about this? I will tell you one thing. My dealer told me, and I don't know if this is common with a lot of mowers or not, but I have two John Deere zero turns, and as far as I'm concerned, when I put it at four on the deck, that is four inches. My dealer told me that is not the case with this X mark. Um, just because you put your uh, deck pin thing at four, doesn't mean you're cutting at four. Let me show you something real quick. By the way guys, as I was talking about that, apparently there's another port right here for something. It's assuming if you can't put that switch I was talking about here, that's probably just for a charger, you could probably put a switch right here. But, so here's what I'm talking about. You can see one, two, three, four, goes in quarter inch increments. Right now I have it at 3.5. When I'm cutting, it looks like this is four because on my John Deere's when I have it set at four, this is like the same height. So, when I cut at 3.5, this thing stripes beautifully, but I do believe that's four inches. Don't quote me on it. I don't know. I could be just blowing smoke up your ass right now. I'm not exactly sure, but that is what my dealer told me is the case with this mower. Just letting you guys know that I am a 5'8", about 160 pound guy, and to lift this deck, not very hard at all. I did it with one hand. I have the camera in the other one. Put it back down. Easy. It is not too heavy. All around when it comes to the features of this mower, how it cuts, I love it. I am so happy with it. This mower, I want to say, was a little less than 9000 when I purchased it. And with only three hours on it, I am really considering getting another, possibly, if not a Staurus, a 48 standard. Because while I'm learning this, let me get some better lighting. While I'm learning this, I just love standards. Um, I'm, I still love my 60-inch John Deere that I just got. But I definitely, you know, you guys know, my 48-inch John Deere Zero Turn was two or three years ago now at Home Depot. It's, it's not that it's on its last limb. It actually still cuts and runs like the day I bought it. But, you know, I, it's time to upgrade, in my opinion. Don't fix what's not broke, but I do kind of want to upgrade. So what I'm thinking is, relatively soon, I'm going to give this more time and see how I like this Starus. You may or may not see me buying a second one, a 48 inch, because I love this thing. This is my initial review. You guys know if you subscribe to my channel, I do one, two year reviews on my mowers. I'll do another one. Next year, same time, I'll do another review and I'll tell you guys how I feel about this. But right now, I love the way it cuts. Everything about it I love. I do wish that the stand right here folded up. It does not. It stops right there. Um, no big deal, because I don't think I need to walk this anytime soon, but I do like, compared to some other standards, you're standing in between the tires, I do like that. Um, only because some of you guys might care, I'll show you some of the tie-down points. You see two right up here, let me swing around the side. You got two right up here, right by the front wheels. Just a quick thing I want to add, if you guys need to know, I know a lot of you guys like the Ballard products, I was just talking about the Advanced Shoot. The mower jack through Ballard, I believe, does not work with this given like where the, the legs, the arms are, whatever you call it, and how the deck works. Look at this. You see how the deck kind of curves and goes inward over there? It doesn't really work with that jack. So let's go into my garage real quick. So, sorry if this doesn't focus right, but this is what I'm talking about. These legs here on the jack will pretty much grab the deck on each side here. Even my 60 inch, I have to actually have to turn that wheel to let the jack in. Um, but right now what I actually did was I bought this hoist from Harbor Freight, an 880 pound hoist, with some jacks over there you can see, and that's how I jack up the Starus. So again, not trying to rush this review, but I told you, 95 degrees, it's laundry day and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, I can feel the sweat. Um, pretty much gone over everything with this mower. Um, if you're one of the people that you don't care about a chute cover too much and you kind of just use what chute comes with it, I'll tell you right now, I love when mowers come with this rubber chute. Don't understand why they do a plastic chute. The rubber one, God forbid, you know, I'm going through a gate and it's gonna rub a little bit, at least it conforms, you know what I mean? Rather than the plastic one that you, you have to lift up, you know? So, uh, 
Other than that, I don't know what else really to talk about this mower besides the fact that I love it. You know what? I, ca I can say one more thing. If you actually were to get a 48 inch Taurus, this is the E series, right? And I think that's 32, 36, maybe up to 42. I don't know if it's just 32 and 36, but I believe 48 going up is the S series. Don't quote me on that. Another thing don't quote me on is the S series, if that's what it is, has a gas tank on each side that I believe is five gallons each. Don't quote me on that. But what I do know is that they siphon from each other rather than some mowers um, you can switch between the gas tanks. And the reason apparently Xmark does that is a weight thing. You don't want to be taking gas from say the left side, have that one drain switch to the right side because then you have five gallons of gas sitting on that one side. It's a weight thing, you know what I mean? Now you've held five gallon gas tanks in your hand. It's no big deal, but at the same time you gotta think if you're doing these hills and stuff like that and your weight distribution is off, it's a good design in my opinion. I guess I wish, whether it's possible or not, that they had maybe like a three dial switch. If you have it to the left, it's taking from the left gas tank. If you have it in the middle, it's taking from both. And if you have it towards the right, it is only taking from the right. Don't know if that's something possible and if there's downsides to that, but I can see arguments on both sides whether you'd want it to be taken from both or just one. The main reason they, they tell you with the, with the dual gas tanks to keep them at the same level is because if they're drawing from both and one empties before the other one, you're pulling air, you know, through the, through the gas tank and you don't want that. So other than that, guys, I'm pretty much done. Um, <laughs> dude, I'm sweating. Just to reiterate, I love this mower. I'm so happy I got it. I definitely think that uh, once I learn it more, first impressions, I love it. Who's to say down the line, uh, I'm not gonna like it anymore. We'll see, but I do like it now. In my head, I definitely do see myself getting another, if not a 48 inch Taurus, a 48 inch Standard. So we'll see what happens, I don't know. But other than that guys, thank you guys for watching. As I said, please be on the lookout that later this week, I will be putting one of those little GoPro mounts on this Taurus and doing real time mowing with it. I have a buddy of mine, he is subscribed to the channel, Vinny, is going to be coming with me, I believe, for three to four weeks because John is going on vacation. John's been with me for a while now and has never taken a vacation. He's got family in Spain. So I said, hey, you go three weeks, go see your family in Spain. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Um, and Vinny's gonna be working with me too. Now, who's to say that this doesn't turn into something else? Vinny does have his own business and all that stuff, but the time that he's working with me, Thursday, Friday mornings, is perfectly fine with him. All besides the point, just wanted to tell you guys who do care about you know what I'm doing, who I'm working with, and all that stuff, just to give you a little update. So other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.